What is going on guys, welcome to Blender Masterclass. Today we will be creating a vase. So yeah, let's get right into it. Let me first turn this on here real quick. Start. Um, delete this one and add in... Uh, oh, we have to add in uh, image first, reference. So I got mine right here. Yep. Let's just turn this down properly. Oops, there we go. And there we go. Here we go. Why is it not playing up right? Okay, let's just make sure it is perfectly on. There's probably a many easier way to do this, but yeah, don't judge me. Okay, then let's add in a cylinder. Why? Because cylinder looks closest to this one here. We always gotta uh, take the object that looks pretty similar to the one that we are creating. So let's just place this here in the middle. Mm -hmm. I always have this on because I like it like that. Okay, here we go. So turn it down a little bit. If you can't see it down here, I'm going to explain what, what's happening here. Okay, so tap. Just add this in right here. And let's choose the top part here. And just extrude it up. And click E. Extrude down, scale down, sorry. Extrude. E. Pull up. Here. And extrude, uh, and sorry, scale up. And just pull it up a bit. Great. Then we take this part here. Just scale it out a bit. Wait, we have to add a loop cut here first. Otherwise it won't work. So let's do it again here. Here. Scale up a bit. And add a loop cut here. Scale. Here. Scale. And then a loop cut there. And let's just finish the bottom and then build up. Here we go. Now you now you know what you're doing, so that's good. Here we go. Great. More loop cuts. And then we just kinda like following the shape till it is how it should be. Whoopsie daisy. Here we go. Pretty cool, but not what we're going for. <laughs> okay, so let's just extrude, extrude, extrude. Sorry, scale, scale, scale. Until we are where we should be. Here we go. That seems like it's pretty close to the reference. So delete the reference. Now. Click 3. Uh, click 3. X. Only face. That's right. Shade. Uh, yeah, smooth. Uh, shade smooth. Then let's go into the wrench tool. And click. Uh, solidify. Now let's make it a thick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10, that should be good enough. Click apply. Uh, and then we click subdivision. I could like it on 3. Yes, here we go. Now we could just make it a little bit cleaner. You see here, the bottom looks horrible. So, in here again, tap, then make a, if it's wanna choose it probably, here, uh, let's see, gotta be in the middle. Stop playing up, would you? Uh, let's do it here. Here, then pull up, you see that? It got a lot better, and if you want to still mess around with it, just find it again. 
double click uh, with GG as you can see here GG mm -hmm. here we go let's just add another one just for the sake of it here we go you see now it looks nice and the same thing we could do up here just to make it smoother see let's do it again there we go here we go and now I'm satisfied with it great now I'm just gonna rotate it this way here real quick here we go now let's make it cool go into shadings uh-huh new metallic up if that's what you want roughness a little bit down now the fun begins so let's add in a color ramp color ramp here we go and musgrave musgrave that's correct and a bump bump that goes down here which will connect to up here after okay so first of all let's just give it a color whatever color you want um, don't judge me I just go for whatever I like here and this one I'll give uh, this kind of color yeah um, let's scale it a little bit like this maybe and detail I like it all the way up dimension mm, about here let me just let me just see a little bit like there and I'm gonna add another one just because I would like something more so let's give this uh, like this then let's bring these like closer to each other like so look at this already it's starting to look pretty good then you can just manipulate it to how you want it okay now let's take this height into up here as well look what happened look what happened see so we turn the strain a little bit down well a lot down actually you see and still keep it all and we could just clean this up here as well to make it a little bit more smoother yeah and details look at this here the bump so uh, that's why I like it on high so you can see it all like this smooth like more um, realistic and dimensions works as well so this is like uh, more classiness to it you see it's more classy but it gives more like a bumps to it um, I like to keep it low like about here this seems very like class like really unique if you like it down here it looks like rust but it looked like very real as well like a very old um vase but if you gave it a different color let's say it like like uh there then it will probably look really like an old vase like really realistic um so yeah but but i'm not going for that so it depends on what you're going for I'm going up for where I was before which is here this is my kind of vase um, yeah probably like it like this better and we turn this color into something else like um, like this and I'll take it closer and just mess around with it till, till you are satisfied so that's how you do it let's just make it a more 
like this, maybe. Yeah. It will depends on what you're going for, um, or what your client wants. But um, yeah, look here again. Details down or up? I like it in the middle, like around here. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, now let's just see how it looks like in render. Let's just do this here real quick. Here. And this is in rendered where you could see it more. So let's just put this down uh, like this. And you can still mess around with it in here to see if it fits the rendered uh, place as well. Which is did. Still looks amazing. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe. Um, you just remember, if nothing is really going your way, just tweak with these tools over here too, you see? These tweaks also do a big difference. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.